What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. So I'm still just trying to process that insane Easter egg yesterday from Treyarch Studios, which is a part of the little viral marketing campaign to finally reveal Call of Duty 2020. And to be honest, I think that was the most difficult Easter egg to really complete in Call of Duty history because it required just a bunch of teamwork from people all over the community. And big shout out to Noah J because him and his team were the first to really complete the Easter egg in front of an audience. But truly, it was the entire COD community working together, uh, sending bits and pieces of information to each other, spreading it around until it was finally solved. It only took about five hours to really complete, so not too long at all. But like I said, this, in my opinion, was the most difficult Easter egg to solve because it required so many people having to come together and make it all happen. Happen. So shout out to the zombies community the multiplayer side everybody who received the slide projector boxes All of us played a big part in this thing to make it happen So round of applause to the call of duty community all around now guys the even crazier thing about this Easter egg is it's not even Officially completed yet because Noah J had received word from Activision that what we solved yesterday is only the first step to the Call of Duty 2020 reveal. Think about that. So there's going to be something after this, which whatever it is, it's supposed to come out this Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And whatever that is, I assume that it has to be something related to the little TV and the website that we were directed to, which is pawntakespawna.com. Now, a similar style TV set can be found inside of this small compound area, kind of by the stadium. It's not the same exact TV from the Pawn Takes Pawn website, but it for sure is almost identical. And over on Twitter, Trevor Nelly sent over a screenshot from that same exact room from a few weeks ago, except there is a no TV sitting on that stand. So for sure, somebody is adding those old fashioned TV sets all over the Verdansk houses. And we can even see in here that one of the newer model TVs that can be found inside of some of the houses is actually glitching out, possibly because they might have messed up with replacing the textures or something, I don't know. But again, somebody is adding those similar old-fashioned TV sets all over the Warzone houses. As for why, honestly, I have no clue whatsoever. It could possibly have something to do with whatever is going on with Friday and uh, the Pawn Takes Pawn website. I'm not too sure. But what my theory is, maybe if you go to one of these houses, you enter the one of the rooms with the TV sets, you can actually watch the reveal trailer, or maybe you could even get like a little possible teaser that flashes on this TV come Friday. I, I have no clue whatsoever, guys. Um, but again, this is actually very, very odd because these TV sets, again, were not here weeks ago. So they are being added, but that reason is clearly unknown. Um, but I'm gonna do some more research, see if I can find anything else, guys. Now those TVs could possibly be turned on, maybe come Friday, which could reveal a next step in the Easter egg. It's absolutely insane that this Easter egg is still not completed yet. And for sure yesterday, I thought we were gonna be getting the reveal, or at least something, but to be honest, we were left with more questions rather than answers, because we really just got a website that didn't do anything. But for for sure guys, this month in August is going to be when the reveal takes place. Now a lot of people were kind of upset because they really wanted a trailer and were thinking, oh it's just BS that after all of that we were left with a website that again didn't do anything. I think it's pretty cool what Treyarch is doing which is building up more hype and making us all work together to decipher the easter egg and we do just gotta wait a little bit longer but every day something is happening leading up to the reveal. Like just now there is a weapon balancing update that was released on Modern Warfare, which was a part of the Season 5 update. So they could have added something in there. They could have added some little hints and clues in this update. So like I said, stuff is happening. The Warzone map is getting little changes here and there, but it's up to us to discover what those really are. Now guys, since I talked about the little update, I'm going to read off the patch notes for you guys. So this is an in-game patch that brings weapon tuning updates, including changes to the Bruin and the Foul, which are two of the most overpowered and overused weapons in the game. And a lot of people have been complaining about them recently the Bruin definitely needed a nerf that thing was insanely good but the foul actually got a bit of a buff so let's go ahead and check it out so for the foul they increased the headshot damage it's a two hit at range kill with one headshot so it got a little bit of a buff there but then it also got nerfed because it reduced the near damage limbs and lower torso always a three shot kill so it kind of got buffed a little bit but then it also got nerfed but I still think the foul is going to be pretty dang solid to use in Warzone I'm not sure if it's it's still going to be the meta, but it for sure can be a decent weapon to use to butter people up from a distance and just
just get a couple shots and possibly finish them off with the sniper or something along those lines or the growl. So uh, Foul kind of got a hit and miss there with the buffs and nerfs category. The Bruin now actually got a big nerf. They reduced the damage range, which I was assuming was going to happen. I knew they were going to uh, nerf the damage because that thing killed you so fast. Um, so I'm really glad that happened. For the Holger 26, they increased the damage range and they also increased the ADS speed. The M91, they increased near damage and then also increased the ADS speed. So the M91 also got a big buff there. And so yeah, those are the weapon tuning updates we got today. There were some general fixes, but not much is uh, really known about that. I'm not sure um, because there were like a couple of little exploits and errors that people were getting. But there is a little glitch that people are getting with their weapons and items that they pick up in the game. It's going to show like this kind of weird texture glitch where it appears all blocky and cubey. Hopefully a fix for that does come out very soon here, but for now it's just going to be something very annoying to deal with in the game. Personally, I thought there would have been a stronger nerf to the foul in the Bruin. I didn't even think the foul should have gotten a buff in any kind of way, but I haven't played the game yet, so I'm not too sure how it's going to play out or even if the meta is going to change at all, but uh, tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. Do you guys think that the meta is going to change? Do you think the foul should have gotten a bigger nerf in the Bruin? Uh, again, let me know all this down below in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching. Love y'all so, so much. I really do appreciate all your support and stuff you've been sending me in the comments and on Twitter. Just seeing all your feedback and everything is truly humbling to me. So with that, I'm going to try and produce the best quality videos that I possibly can and keep you updated with the best Warzone tips, news, and more. So with that, thanks for watching. Love y'all so, so much for the rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see y'all later.